Maude Morgan back in the 70s. We had studios in the same building, and she was a great person. She had a very specific direction that she went in, but she was willing to look at all kinds of things that other people do and listen to them and exchange ideas. And That's perfect to have a, a school going on now, that an art experience that is all about that. Right. People doing all that. kinds of different things. And a lot of the people who are coming here tonight are from, you know, people from the Museum of Fine Arts and Museum School, and, and Leslie, and all over the place. But people who are scientists, doctors, all kinds of people, and they're just interested in it because art is something that really excites me. Uh, I think also uh, what works so well here is it's for young people and uh, and the parents of those young people can come and learn it too. And they have uh, first class teachers, amazing teachers come here and teach. And uh, you, it's very rare to find that in any place where you can come in and do that in a short period of time. And, uh, it has a great, great uh, curriculum that works for everybody. Well, we both knew Maud very well. Yeah. And, and, and uh, she was one of the most amazing human beings there ever was, and more fun to hang out with, and just a very racy, wonderful, extraordinary person. And this place is an, a great tribute to her. I'm not an artist, but I'm a fan of Maud Morgan, and they went through so much to get this set up, and so it's wonderful. The place is great, and uh, definitely worth the, the battle. Oh, yeah, I think that all these children who are involved in this in this program, in any level, whether they're, they're painting or doing pottery or whatever, it just raises their... their intelligence, their ability to, to do uh, to do schoolwork aside from the art enrichment and the, and the skills. I just feel so strongly about it. Yeah. I think it just is a, it's a really uh, close environment community that is, uh, allows people just to come, to make art, to connect to people, to have um, opportunities just to explore different art, get their hands wet, get, get dirty, and and make make relationships, have relationships with people about art, talking about art, and what it means to them. It is a community center that helps educate young and old uh, with lots of different classes. I really support arts education in schools, in art institutions, but also in the community where people can find a way to express themselves, and this sounds like it's a place. It's just a great organization with great people and they do all kinds of good programs with kids in the neighborhood and provide a real art resource that hey, that um, is really needed in the area, so it's just fantastic. Well, I think that the influence is in, uh, interestingly widespread, so the influence of the education is targeted to different age groups, different demographics, different levels of the profession of art, and also the interest in art. So I think that's the, that's the um, really strong point, is that it addresses a real, it has a very broad net in terms of the people that it entices. So this is Stan Trecker, who's the ex-dean of um, what is now LUCAD. That's the University College of Art and Design, and he's been on the bo advisory board at Lawn Market Arts. So he can talk to some of the educational issues and some of the ways that we that we um, collaborate with the community organizations and educational institutions. You're on. Absolutely, absolutely. It's wonderful to have Maud Morgan here because for us uh, at the College of Art and Design, our students um, come here and intern. We've had some alumni teaching classes um, and, and different projects that we can do together with the Maud Morgan Center and ourselves. Uh, it's really been a terrific addition. Yeah. Well, the Maud Morgan Center's classes are principally uh, aimed at children. And our classes are obviously college classes with a bunch of classes for high school students. So actually, there's a kind of a nice little progression from Maud Morgan up to us uh, as, as kids grow older. 
um, and, and this this place just bubbles with energy, so we love it. Well, our department at Harvard is called the Office for the Arts at Harvard, and we are visual and performing arts, and we are very interested in connecting with the community uh, uh, in addition to building bridges through the arts within the university, but between the university and the community. And so, for example, we've had Maud Morgan come to our annual arts festival and um, table there and promote the program at our arts festival. And um, we just really we brought our um, community arts partners group up here, which is people from the community and the university who work in the arts to see the facility, to meet Kathy, like just to help people become more aware of it and uh, the fantastic facilities and teaching that it offers.